Kevin Tate in the 14th. And our final starter on the field will be 38 of Donald Bud Kinney. Our final event rolls off turn number four. We are underway for 25 laps of thrills with the X Cars. Mitch Bombard and Ben Castro lead the way to the turn number one, and it is the 10 of Bombard who grabs the early lead on the back stretch. They stack up, trouble down the back stretch. The field scatters. Right now, going through the grass looks to be the 56. That is William, and we stay on the green, completing lap number one. At the front, Mitch Bombard has opened up a two-car length advantage. The battle on between Sean Skinner and Ben Castro for the second spot. Dave Yardley, the Wolfman, begins to growl as he's in fourth. Behind him, it's the 25, then is Bill Lyman. Then we have the 43 of William, a side-by-side -side duel between the 5 of News and the 41 of Cole of Leonard. Then we have Kevin Tate, it looks like the 41 of has been able to grab that spot away. Tate following in his footsteps as they come across the line and complete lap number two. Mitch Bombard leading the way, trying to track him down. The, the 24 of Sean Skinner. Yardley beginning to move as he knifes his way down low and grabs the third spot away from the 88 of Castro as they fling their way off turn number four. The top six cars have broken away and freight train their way down. Turn number one, it is Mitch Bombard, the leader of the band, as they go down into turn number three. Skinner now beginning to close ever so slightly as they come off turn number four. We are five laps down. Bombard goes off the track, and that allows Skinner a run down low, and he'll the less of the lead away from Mitch Bombard. Bombard on the outside trying to fight back. They are side by side as they go down into turn number one, number three. Yardley closing in on the battle. Behind them, Castro, Lyman, and Realm make up our top six. So also trying to close in is the 14 of Tate who started deep in the field. Trying to outlast this Bombard is the 24 of Sean Skinner. Skinner has moved into the lead as they go down the back and stretch it into turn. Yardley picking up the run now as he will move into the second spot. Skinner, who came home sixth, two weeks ago, looking to put himself in the top spot. Yardley trying to get two in a row as he battles Bombard for positions two and three. Then it is Castro, and a car moving up on the outside. That is the 43 of Leon. He has a battle as the 25 of Ryman in that Camaro body entry is underneath and looks to grab the fifth spot away as they go down the backstretch. Trouble for the 30, that is Piper Beal as she goes across the start and finish line. Sean Skinner pulling away. Dave Godley now has moved into the second spot. Mitch Bombard is third, but he is going to be paid a visit very soon. Trouble now as one car goes up the track, drops off the pace, and that is the 25 of Lyman. So now Lyman is out of the picture. That car ailing as it goes to the back, and now it's dropped to about eighth place on the track after he was up in the top five. Castro trying to make his way underneath Bombard in turns one and two and grab a podium spot. They really work their way down into turn number three. It is a side-by-side -side duel between Bill Cast Ben Castro and the 10 of Mitch Bombard. Bombard, our early leader, looks like he's trapped on the outside, loses a position to Castro, and will also lose a position to the 43 of William Leon. Behind them, Devin Tate and William also in the picture as they battle for position going into turn three. 13 to go as it is Skinner now beginning to feel the heat as the Wolfman, Dave Yardley, is close to the back bumper. So that sets up a battle over the final 12 and a half laps. Yardley and Skinner getting set to duke it out. They're going to be closing very soon on the 30th. Piper Beal should have to get down and allow the two cars to pass. She does. They clear. And Yardley on the move on the outside to look to grab the lead away from Sean Skinner. And Yardley, with an aggressive outside run, has the lead going to turn three. Not willing to give it up just yet is the 24 of Skinner. So Skinner now gets past. Yardley moves in the first. Skinner runs second. Third, we have the 88 of Ben Castro. Then we have the 43 of William Leon. The 56 of William, Devin Tate has grabbed the sixth spot at Mitch Bombard to make up our top ten. 
10 laps to go in the ninth, 10 laps to go in the race. It is Dave Yardley, the Olympic Lab win number two on the season, two for two. He has opened up a three car length advantage over the 24 of Skinner. Skinner looks to be able to close a little bit in the turns, but it is a straightaway where Yardley pulls away and he gains that lead as they go down in the one. Castro and Rome trying to close on the battle for first and second. Castro holding on the third right now as they go into turn three, then a little deeper in the field. Lyman has gotten the car back a little bit, and that car trying to make a resurrection as he comes off turn number four and gets by the 10 of Bombard, drop kicking, drop kicking Mitch back another spot. The best battle right now is between both Will and William Leone. Will on the inside of the 56, William on the outside of the 43. Also right there and sliding his way is the 14 of Jeb and Tate as they cross the line and head into turn number one. At the front, Sean Skinner trying to come up with a plan to get by Dave Yardley in the 76 as he goes into turn number three. Then we continue to have fall back where Castro has to worry about both of the arms closing in and we want to be a battle for third in the final six laps. Kevin Tate also involved in the picture of the battle. And it is Will in the 56 holding off William and is able to get the fourth spot away. Tate now will try to sneak underneath William in the 43 as they go into turn three. Piper Beal will head to the infield down to just five laps to go. Dave Yardley, about a car length advantage. Joseph's in second, Sean Skin Skinner. Then it is followed by an eight to 10 car length. So we have the 88 of Castro. And Castro has to worry as he has the 56 of Will Will closing in fast. We are down to just four laps. Don't go by the lap car, the 12 of David Castico, Castiaco. And in the turn at number three. Yardley pulling away. Skinner in tow. Down to just three laps left. Behind them, we all sliding a bit. He's trying to pick up the pace and grab third spot away from Castro as they go off turn two and set sail down the back stretch. Popsicle sticks in the air, twirling twos. They come off turn to number four, Dave Yardley. Two laps away from securing the win number two and going two for two on the season. Yardley will go by Phillips and have clear sailing as he goes down the back stretch. Skinner comfortably in second spot, and the battle is on for third. Castro has a visitor, a touch to the rear bumper by the 56 of Milne. White flag, one lap left for the 76 of Dave Yardley. He'll go under the scoreboard for the final time in the turns three and four. Twin checkered flags in there held by Craig Merriman. Now waiting for the 76, the Wolfman, Danny Yardley, takes the win. Finishing in second is the 24 of Sean Skinner. The 88 of Ben Castro comes home third. In fourth is the 56 of Will Leone and William Leone in the 43. Maybe will be away from the field tonight to pick up the win. Yeah, uh, we broke the motor last week. This is the back up motor. It's going to stop. We didn't do the job. First of all, I want to thank Beamer for having the track open, all the officials, the guys coming out and doing what we do. Girlfriend, throw me out. And we got our little old motor. Car's handling good. I think it's, it's all about getting the handling right. And uh, thank you, Juan Steele, who comes home second and Sean. You had a pretty dominating heat race win. Did you think you had something in the later stages for the 76? Yeah, 25 laps is a long race compared to a heat race, so uh, I saw him coming. I was trying my best. Uh, I think we were a second place car tonight. For all the folks with assist on the 24. Yep, I want to thank uh, my dad for getting me here every week. Uh, my mom, she's a big support. My nana and papa, uh, Keith, and uh, anyone else who supports me. Oh, uh, I finally have a sponsor, Beyond Decking. Uh, go to beyonddecking.com. It's uh, maintenance-free aluminum uh, decking. Ben Castro and Ben, you were fighting for the lead early in this race. Drop back, we were able to get a third place from the shot of all. Oh, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was the first time I was podium, so, you know, it was fun. Well, who are the people that, let's roll the credits on, got, on the 88 who got you there? Uh, well, first, I'd like to dedicate this third place to my favorite teacher, Ms. Dubriel. She's out in the stands tonight. Um, 
B-Dace Racing Chassis, uh, Lowry's Auto Machine from Awesome Horsepower, uh, Reed Racing, Taylor Longcare, K&B Racing, uh, Gigi and Poppy, my grandparents, um, TK Racing Photos, Guess a Consulting and Material, AKA Racing, and uh, anyone if I forgot, there's a lot of people. Mom, Dad, Kara, Matt, Renee, everyone that helps out, thank you.